Since starting my YouTube adventure in early 2009, I've used many different cameras to record my videos. This is the faithful Panasonic TM10, the camera that started my YouTube journey as we know it today. After receiving this upgrade in 2010, I was able to produce high quality, smooth HD videos. After multiple years of reliable use, it became clear to me that the channel growth was begging for an image quality upgrade. Intake of light and accuracy of color are some of the very few downsides to this camcorder that ultimately led to its retirement. Next in line was the Fuji bridge camera that's capturing this very video. Kindly donated to me by my great buddy Christian, this was my leap into truly high quality HD video working with 1080p at 30fps right through the video production process, all the way from footage ingestion to the final compressed product suitable for upload. After accomplishing the mild learning curve, this camera allowed me to capture crisp video with eye-popping colours. Video lighting became a breeze thanks to the larger lens and drastically better sensor. I was finally happy with the way my videos looked, especially from a vibrance point of view. Faffing around with bulky cameras is all well and good for your average video, but my arm muscles and general energy levels quickly began to suffer while using the Fuji for vlogging. As vlogs are some of my most popular videos, I wanted the same eye-popping picture quality for everyone to enjoy, no matter the style of video. Christian stepped up once again. This guy is such a legend. He decided to send over this tiny but beastly Sony action camera. This camera sparked a whole new world of possibilities for the channel. Utilizing the same 1080p at 30fps video workflow, I could take this little tank with me anywhere and still end up with a cracking picture. This led to many IMNC improvements, including more varied vlogs, infinite shot possibilities thanks to the camera's tiny, adaptable form factor, and of course, the eventual launch of my second channel. After many successful months vlogging with my action cam, I've decided to take a deeper plunge into high quality vlogging. It soon became clear to me that I didn't own a general purpose camera that boasted all the features necessary for a quick and easy video. The Fuji has acceptable audio quality and a stable image, but lacks accurate autofocus, making every shot a planned effort. The Sony features a wide angle fixed focus design, making shots quick and simple, but it lacks good audio quality while mounted to a tripod. Thanks to many instances like this, I set out to look for a good all rounder that would potentially become my go to vlogging camera and general video capture workhorse. After extensive research, my three main options were between the Canon G7X, Canon S120, and Sony RX100. I chose to go with the S120 for multiple reasons. There are a host of things that I prefer about the S120. One of those is audio quality. After listening to as many videos as possible, I've decided that the S120 microphone sounds much better than the G7X. When this reason alone is combined with the price difference, the S120 was a no-brainer to me. I believe that the G7X is a fantastic camera, but for that difference in price, it's really not worth it. As my 21st birthday was looming, I thought the S120 would be an ideal way to spend my birthday money. Speaking to a great friend of mine, I told her about my plans to purchase the Canon camera. She mentioned to me that she'd like to contribute to the camera fund for her birthday present to me. I was over the moon with this because prior to her decision, I was unsure if I'd actually be able to afford the camera with my birthday money alone. I thought I may need to save up a little more after my birthday, thus delaying the purchase of the camera further. On the day of my 21st, I was horrendously ill with an awful stomach bug. It wasn't until around 2 p.m. I managed to open my presents. To my absolute amazement and of course crazy, crazy joy, there was the S120 sitting right in front of me. I'd like to take this opportunity while filming this video to extend a humongous thanks to my very special friend, Wendy. Not only did she surprise me with the camera, she also bought me the official Canon case to protect my new present. Huge, huge thanks. So now that I've unboxed this camera, it's time that I start using it. As you guys know, I'm not really a review channel in the conventional sense. I've sat here today and told you a little story and explained why I've purchased the camera. The next step is for you guys to check out my future videos and see if you enjoy the quality improvements with the S120. 
The majority of the use of this camera will be over at the vlogging channel, so it's very important that you check out that channel. There's a link in the video description. Now, that's pretty much it from me, but I will throw in quite a bit of test footage at the end of this video for varying different styles of video. It's not going to be that diverse. I'm not going to go out and film different locations because that's not what my video work involves. I'm basically going to film a few snippets of things that would be my usual videos so you guys can grasp an idea of what the audio and video quality is like from the Canon S120. So far, I love the look of this camera. It's a quality little unit. It comes with a battery charger, which is a massive plus for me, and it's small enough in the Canon case to fit in my pocket. So it ticks all the boxes. Let's see how it does. But until next time, I will see you guys soon. So I've just got done editing the little video that you guys just watched. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this is the first test of the S120. This is the first clip that I've ever recorded with it. So at the moment, you know, uh, naturally struggling to hold it correctly, etc. Um, figuring out how to not cover the microphone. If anyone is curious, as with pretty much starting any kind of new camera adventure, Everything is set to auto, absolutely everything. All I've done is made sure that it is set to 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second to match my existing timeline, and we are all sorted. Um, so, as I said in the video, this will probably become my new go-to vlogging camera for the majority of shots. It's still compact, it's still light, and uh, hopefully I'll be very impressed with it. Of course, I can't give my opinions on any of the footage because I haven't watched it yet. This is the first thing that I've recorded with the camera. But to hear my opinions, um, of course, stay tuned for future vlogs. I'll probably be chatting about the camera in quite a few vlogs down the road as I get used to it. Now, this is quite a bit bigger than the Sony, but it's not big enough to make a drastic impact because it still fits in my pocket. That's the main thing that really seals the deal. Does it, does it fit in your pocket? And uh, if the answer is yes, then you're good to go with vlogging, basically. Now, I know I look, I look a bit rough and everything, guys, but this is, you know, this is vlogs. This is how they are. I want it to be as, as real as possible. Now, as for the uh, audio, I am impressed with the audio that I've heard um, on other people's videos. It's outstandingly better than the Sony camera. The Sony camera is not bad for its size, um, but I do have to do a lot of work. You guys actually hear in every video that I've recorded with the Sony camera, or in most unless I forget, you guys should actually hear a um, dual mono signal because the left channel or the right channel, I think it's the right channel, actually gives some horrendous noise um, in the audio. So I always uh, double up one of the mono tracks, makes it sound a lot better. And I also put quite a heavy high pass filter on it because uh, the audio can be a bit problematic from that camera, but it's an action cam. It's not designed for good audio. Now I will still be using the Sony for lots of shots. Um, mainly for things like multicam work in Cooking with Tom and other series that I'm hoping to launch. And of course, it's a very, a very handy camera to have such a wide angle lens. Um, it'll come in uses, it'll come in usefulness, it'll come in handy um, multiple, multiple times, hopefully. Now I'm gonna swap arms because it took that length of time for my arm to start aching. Not too bad. This would actually be really good to use with a stick. Um, I do have a stick. Christian gave me a stick with my Fuji camera, so I think I will use one with this. Not too sure. Maybe I'll see if I can get a smaller one. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's pretty comfortable. Now, I am going to stop rambling to the camera in a second because you've probably got an idea of what um, the vlogging looks like in this room anyway, um, with sort of average sunlight and just normal lights on. Um, I will do a few pan shots. And also, actually, sorry, because the microphone is on the top of the camera, it's actually gonna be a lot easier for me to show you guys things in vlogs. I have been holding back on pointing the Sony at other things and talking from the back. Because the microphone is on the front, the audio gets even worse um, when I talk behind the camera. So hopefully if I flip around the S120, the audio will obviously change naturally, um, but it should be, you know, still just as good, I suppose, because the mic is on the top. I'm a little closer to the camera, but 
Um, one thing I am noticing is it's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth video as you guys can see. This camera does record in 60 FPS, but on the LCD on the camera itself, it is looking very, very good indeed. This is my new Amiibo stand. Let's do some close-ups and see how the autofocus copes with all of this. Um, I'm not sure on the autofocus settings, like I said, have not delved into the menu at all. Um, there's my V, there's my Hi8 camera, sorry, not my VHS camera, my Hi8 camera. Yeah, like I said, not delved into any of the settings. This is literally as is, coming straight from the camera. Now, I am getting used to holding the camera. Um, I haven't used a point and shoot for video for a very long time, not since 2009. I used to borrow my mum's uh, camera to record videos um, when I first started the channel before I had my own camera as you can see the Hackintosh down there. It responds to changes in light really well was not expecting it to be that good as you guys can see window shot there looking at a few things in front of the window and then down there boom 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 yeah very very impressed of course this is all just very rough guys very very rough <gasps> what is that that's a preview of a video to come should not have turned that way but anyway this is a little test of the s120 now i know i have not gone out of this room i should really go out of this room to show you guys other things that this camera can do um or other things that this camera can not do but all of that is to come in future vlogs so, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. That is a basic look at the S120 quality for things like vlogging. Um, let me know what you think so far. And of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.